talking for an hour. We just can't find the end. Hey guys, it's Morgan from the beach classroom and I just woke up. Um, I'm a kindergarten teacher in Cleveland, Ohio. If you're new here, my classroom is beach themed. That's kind of how I came up with the beach classroom because I love the beach. Anyways, I'm out of breath because I just woke up. I'm so tired. Um, I am going to take you through my daily routine, Florida style. So I come down to Florida a lot and yeah, so I'll literally just roll out of bed and grab the camera so I can really take you through a day. Um, it is Monday while I'm taping this, so a couple things will be a little bit different, which I'll tell you about once we get there. First thing, gotta make my bed. Brush my teeth, comb my hair, pick out my bathing suit, and all that stuff, and then I'll like head right out to the beach. I'm a little bit behind the time because normally when I come down here I wake up at like 8 so I can be at the beach by 9 but right now it's 9.09 um, but I've been giving myself like some grace about sleeping in because um, I'm like school's gonna start and then like whatever so I've been like kind of sleeping in and it's been fine plus like in the summer down here like sometimes it rains in the morning and stuff so it just all depends kind of but i did want to show you this before i go um get in the car i'm gonna get my coffee um i'm probably gonna stop at this bakery because they have gluten-free donuts and i love them you don't need a gluten-free donut <laughs> and then i'll go to the beach but um this is what i use for sunscreen on my face it's tula um brit horton and krista horton well brit horton like kind of got me into it, but Krista Horton also like shares about it all the time. Those are my two favorite like Instagrammers. Krista Horton is so funny. Gives your face like a like glow kind of. I have no makeup on, I look awful. And my chin is like breaking out everywhere. It has been, I don't know why. Anyways, I love that like, like glowy look it gives you. So anyways, that's what got me influenced to it. And I wear it every day. All right guys, so it's actually a different day now. My camera, when I was first taping yesterday, was low and I was like, oh, I'll just charge it. And then I never did. So anyways, I actually have on like the same bathing suit and the same shirt because I washed all my bathing suits last night and then, you know, I always like wear the same clothes. So I don't wear this for long. I just like wear it to the beach, take it off and don't wear it the rest of the day. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go get Starbucks. I'm probably gonna get a donut from this bakery that I like um even though I'm not that hungry for breakfast but I just want to show you guys the bakery and I don't really need a donut but whatever and then um I'll go to the beach and then yeah I'm gonna bring the camera with me this time so here we go all right so I just got my donut um show you what it looks like and I didn't really vlog in there because it's really small and there were people in there and obviously it's just like I have my mask on whatever um, but they have like all sorts of vegan and gluten-free um, desserts and they also have regular but they mainly have like gluten-free and stuff I think the oh, the background is like the owner had or has celiac, celiac, I don't know how you say it. Um, so then she started making stuff and then it just led to one thing and then she has bakery. It's called Angelic Desserts Bakery and Cafe. They also have um, gluten-free and vegan soups. Um, some of them are just gluten-free. And yeah, so if you are in the Naples area, definitely check them out. They are off Vanderbilt. I'm not sure what the main intersection right here is. I don't know. 
but I would just search angelic desserts and it will come up. Okay, so I just parked in the garage and it's a really quick walk to the beach. That's why I love this. So where we used to live, um, you'd have to like drive to a beach and you'd have to like find like some sort of parking or whatever you have to get dropped off. Um, this is so convenient and um, if you don't live here, you just have to pay $8 to park in the um, garage, which isn't bad like if you're on vacation. Um, but if you live here, you can have a beach sticker and it's free. And then the walk is really close. Of course, there's people walking, it's so awkward. walk down the beach um, but since it's so hot usually um, in the summer I will walk and then like I'll sit in the water um, and I don't really sit here but I just kind of like camp out my stuff here and yeah when I first started coming to the beach I would like face the ocean now I like face the sun which I don't know why I do that but anyways I am going to find somebody to try to take a picture of me on the beach and then I'm going to get all this stuff off and go walk and sit in the water and breathe. Alright, I don't know if you can even hear me but like I said, I walk a little bit and there's usually like no one on the beach down here. Um, there's like hotels and stuff but I don't know, I guess. Those people don't go on the beach. It's always been like this, honestly. Like some of the hotels, um, I don't know if you could see, but they'll have like sun chairs in front of theirs. Um, well, I guess this one does, but maybe because of COVID, they're not out. But um, the rest of the beach, there's nothing. There's just like boardwalks onto the beach and that is it. So now I'm just gonna like sit in the water I like to put my like feet in the water and just sit here and read and it is glorious. Okay, I am leaving because it's very hot at the beach. It's already like over 100, but I just wanted to share. Um, I used to use beach chairs like that where they're like typical beach chairs. And then I had some people down here so I needed to get another chair. And I, um, I decided to get this one and these camping chairs are perfect because you can carry them on your shoulder they go back in here so like the sand gets in the bag and then um, also there's a cup holder and like you could sit straight up where those I feel like you can't sit straight up on and yeah so game changer all right so anyways it is time for me to leave the beach um, yeah I'm gonna go to the pool now usually I'll stop home in between which I am going to because I want to grab a float so I can like float in the water but um, basically my, I usually will like change bathing suits, but I might not do that. I might just like grab my float and go. Um, and then I go to the pool and eat some lunch, even though I'm not hungry because it's so hot, but I'm like, I'm on vacation and this is like my last summer fun trip. So I need to just eat all the good food and yeah, so here we go. You're just gonna say hi. This is my friend Kino. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh no. I shouldn't say that, right? Is I'm, I'm gonna be on the blog, right? Yeah, you're on it right now. I'm on it right now? Yeah. Oh. So hi, this is Kino, so he's part of making my 
trip's amazing. Mm -hmm. He always gets me a nice fresh Diet Coke. Uh -huh. And our and other nice buddy... Juicy burger. Yes, bacon cheeseburger. Okay, I'm back home, so I enjoyed my burger. I was floating around in my toucan float reading um, at the pool, and then I decided to come back to our pool, which I'll show you in a second. I feel like you can see it in the reflection. Uh, there it is. So, I am going to plug my phone in. I was FaceTiming with one of my coworkers. Now I'm gonna go plug my phone in and then I'm gonna get back to reading. I'm reading a really good book right now and it's like one you can't put down. I love those kind. Um, me and my friend Sarah, she told me about this like read your age thing. So we're reading our age and that means you read as many books as your age. So I'm 28 and I think I've read like five since I started or since I turned 28, but I'm not sure. So look at the cute little bird perched on the tree. Love it. Like so adorable. They put those trees in there. Specifically because it is for birds like that. Um, and it was like destroyed the whole thing. It was all messed up. So they came and like added plants and stuff to it. Anyways, my camera's about to die, but it's about seven o'clock. Um, so the sun in the backyard is gone. Um, the sun goes over our backyard instead of like from the front to the back or back to the front. So we get sun all day, but not obviously now. So it is time for me to check in and I'm gonna um, just throw some clothes on and go get some dinner here. Um, I probably will check back in later, but yeah. All right guys, I completely forgot that I was vlogging my life in daily routine. But um, I got some dinner and then I went and I got a blizzard, which is not typically my Florida daily routine. Um, but I've been really into cocoa fudge blizzards from Bra oh, oh my God, from Dairy Queen. Um, basically, if you order it, they'll say just cocoa fudge, and then you have to be like, yeah. So what I did was. Okay, so my neighbors, <laughs> I don't know if they're watching this, but hi, Pinter, hi, Mr. D. And um, they go to Dairy Queen like every night. So they um, invited me to go with them. I have like something on my face. Okay. <laughs> um, they invited me to go with them. And I really remembered when I was like eight years old having a brownie batter blizzard with one of my neighbors and it was delicious but I hated the brownie chunks in it I just liked the like plain part which tasted like brownie batter so when we went there I asked if I could get a brownie batter blizzard without the brownie chunks and the girl was like yeah it's just call a cocoa fudge blizzard so ever since I've been hooked but I think it breaks out my chin I don't know if you can see my chin it's like all broken out and I don't typically break out. So I really think it's from these. Um, but since I'm on vacation, I'm like, it's fine. I'll have one, doesn't matter. So anyways, I'm doing that. I'm watching some YouTube. I love Aspen, Ovard, um, and the Lebrantz. And I'm trying to think of any other ones that I like watch religiously. Okay, well, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at the beach classroom. If you are looking for more like cleaning videos and organiz organizational videos, stuff like that, I have my minimal channel linked down below. It's called Basically Minimal, and that is it. Thanks for watching, guys.